Okay, homemade tortillas. I've got my wheat, I've got my olive oil, I've got my salt, a little bit of water in the kettle, my mixer doodacky, my scales, and the highly, highly technical wheat grinder. Okay, 240 grams of wheat. Here's I can get it. Too much, but hey, 30 seconds of noise. Okay, and the soup. A conical burr grinder would be a much better choice because you wouldn't need to do the sieving. But I've only got the blade grinder, so all I gotta do is sieve this and just grind it a few more times, two, maybe three times through, and you get fine enough result. Okay, final grind, that looks pretty good. Just pop it straight in. Bit of salt. Quarter of a cup of olive oil, thereabouts. Nice and sandy. Now, about 150 mils or 150 grams of water, whichever comes first. Uh, okay, somewhere in between. Very sticky, but that's as it should be. This is a very wet dough to start with. Definitely sticks to the fingers. But that's the trick when you're dealing with whole grain wheat. You've got a big, very wet dough. Now the trick is, leave it in the pot, don't touch it. 20 minutes or less, or more. At least 20 minutes. Okay. So it's been actually in the pot now for a couple of hours. Already it's a whole lot less sticky. So I'll run that through again. happened is that the bran in this wheat has absorbed much of the liquid. That's the trick. It's very easy to get this too dry. The way I tell is to see how well it pushes out. Still a bit sticky to the fingers but not too bad. And it doesn't crumble around the edges. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, that'll roll really well. So that's the trick. Here we go, my tortilla dough. All we've got to do is roll it out into six nice little flat patties, stick it on the skillet for a minute or two, and fill it with yummies. <laughs>